Hello, hello, it's Stumplet here. Here's an item on number theory. Find the remainder when 7 raised to 2022 is divided by 13. Credits to the Art of Problem Solving community for this item. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. So this is a classic question, just a remainder question. So we're asked to get the remainder when a big number, 7 raised to 2022, is divided by 13. Now in this case, uh, the focus is first on 13 because 13 over here is a prime number. So there is a very well-known theorem on taking the remainders when dividing by a prime number. That is the Fermat little theorem. So we can kind of write the problem as 7 raised to 22 being congruent to k mod 13. And we just have to find the value of k that is a possible remainder, a uh, possible residue under mod 13. So let's talk about what the Fermat's little theorem tells us. It tells us that a raised to p minus 1, so a is any integer as the base of the exponent, so a raised to p minus 1, that's congruent to 1 mod p. Now here, p is a prime number, and there is an obvious restriction that we have to make here. We have to say that the GCD of a and p, so the two numbers we're taking, um, we're, that, that's involved in the mod, uh, in the taking the remainder, that should be equal to 1. Because for example, if a was divisible by p, then obviously this would leave a remainder of 0. So uh, that's why we have the GCD of a and p to be equal to 1. Now in this case, uh, we can say that the a is 7 and the p is 13, so no issues here because 7 and 13, they are relatively prime. So let's write this uh, for Mazato theorem to our uh, more specific case where the base is 7, and our p, it's going to be 13. So we can write that 7 raised to 13 minus 1. That's going to be congruent to 1 modulo 13. Now this will be true by the Fermat's little theorem. Now we're going to use this and kind of help us to simplify um, this big number of 7 raised to 2022. So uh, the 13 minus 1 here, let's just make it 12. So by the Fermat's little theorem, we would know that 7 raised to 12 will be congruent to 1 mod 13. And here, we're going to use the fact that um, modulo, prop uh, a property of modulo that is being multiplicative. So the next step is always to write the 7 raised to 2022 in terms of some 7 raised to 12. So we're going to do some laws of exponents, and you guys will see why we want to do that, because we know that this is essentially 1, so you guys will see the transformation later. But Let's try to write this 7 raised to 2022 in terms of uh, some power of 7 raised to 12. So essentially, I can do something like 2022 divided by 12, and I'll actually get 168 as the quotient, and I'll get 6 as the remainder. remainder. So having the quotient and, rem and the remainder is nice, because uh, this way I can express this 7 raised to 2022 by the laws of exponents. I can raise this to the 168 power, and then I'll have an additional 7 raised to 6 here, all right? So essentially, this is the quotient, and this is the remainder. So we can uh, express 7 raised to 2022 into um, some power of 7 raised to 12, and then just the, uh, the 7 raised to the remainder, essentially. So this is under mod 13. Now let's see what we can do here. Because we have 7 raised to 12 and 1, they're essentially just the same thing under mod 13. This is what this... Uh, underlined uh, congruence means. So 7 raised to 12, I can essentially replace it with a 1 because of the fact that, um, uh, because, of the proper, because of the property in modulo. So essentially the 7 raised to 12 becomes a 1 and then the exponent is 168. Let me just copy the rest. So you guys could see here, the reason why we wanted to write in terms of 7 raised to 12 is because this part is essentially gone because 1 raised to 168, that's just 1. So essentially, I just have to work with this 7 raised to 6 modulo 13. So let's try to do 7 raised to 6 modulo 13. And we've successfully um, brought the exponent to a lower number. So all we have to do is just kind of work with this. So 7 raised to 6, uh, properties of exponent, I can do 7 squared before I cube it. That's the 49 cubed that you see. And then we're just going to use the property of modulo again. We can kind of simplify the base of the exponent here. We can take the 49 divided by 13. Uh, that's the remainder. We can make it 10. We can make the number smaller. So essentially, I can write something like uh, 10 cubed mod 13. But I can actually do a little bit better. Like 10 cubed, uh, I can also make it negative 3 cubed. 
Again, negative numbers work in modulo just as fine. So I'll just use the negative 3 instead of the 10 cubed. So um, negative 3 cubed mod 13. So uh, negative 3 cubed, that's going to be negative 27. Right, negative 27 mod 13. And for our last step, since we want a valid remainder, so we can add 39 to this 27, and I'll get 12. So adding 39 to this negative 27, I'll get 12 mod 13. So uh, following this series of congruences here, I would get that 7 raised to 6 leaves a remainder of 12 when divided by 13, because they are congruent under mod 13. Now going back, since 7 raised to 6 is congruent to 7 raised to 2022 under mod 13, so from start to finish, we just follow this, uh, this series of linear congruence. Uh, these congruences, we're going to get that 7 raised to 2022. It's going to be 12 mod 13. And therefore, we can conclude that the remainder when 7 raised to 2022 is divided by 13. That's just simply equal to 12, as we said, as we mentioned in the start of the video. And this will be our final answer. Hopefully, you guys learned something new from this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.